What's up everyone, welcome back for another video. Today, just parked across the Egyptian theater, gonna check out the Jean-Claude Van Damme double feature screening as part of Beyond Fest. Of course, I came for the Arnold one with my buddies and I uh, came for the Jackie Chan one a couple days ago. Now, we're here to finish the job with the freaking trifecta. So, you know, got my shirt going and uh, got the AC in my car because it's had to beat this desert heat to, you know, it, it's pretty freaking hot today, I'm not gonna lie. But wanted to get here nice and early, because uh, I don't wanna, I, I don't want there to be a maximum risk of uh, me not getting in, you know, because it's first come, first serve, since it is a free screening. So, I was lucky enough to get, in my previous video, I showed you guys I got Jackie Chan's autograph, luckily. Uh, I did not think that was gonna happen, but, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, the same thing goes for Van Damme today, you know, hopefully it's, it doesn't turn out to be a blood sport, but, hey, in my case, it's going to be no retreat, no surrender, because, you know, I'm trying to get that friggin' autograph. So, now I'm going to head on in, uh, walk around, I'm a couple hours early, so, yeah, let's check out the sights, I guess, for now, and see you guys in a bit. <laughs> À droite, s'il vous plaît. episodes and it's just uh it's it's a it's a movie it's like a fucking one of the best action comedy movies you'll ever see and i i'm so i'm so psyched for everyone to see it i want them to show the uh, uh three episodes because the third episode so you saw the end of that one and where a weather control device comes out of fucking nowhere and then from there on out the show is just so bonkers and amazing and i can't wait for everyone to see it um, uh, Jean-Claude, uh, my name's Jonah, and I've been a fan of yours for a very long time. Nice to meet you. That's all I had planned. <laughs> That's the only reason I wanted to do this, is to say that. But, uh, when, uh, when did you hear about this? When, when did, uh, when, 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 like, how was this pitched to you? It's just, uh... And uh, I think we do uh, this uh, show together, 
and I have an amazing cast who um, edited my uh, performance by, I don't know, God. <laughs> Uh, like what, what brought you to you like you write action movies and you're a fan of the genre and uh, you're clearly very very funny uh, like clearly. was this <laughs> was this a way to kind of try and combine uh, all your loves and what you yeah like? I, I had been approached by Scott Free Ridley's really, company uh, they were looking to do a television show with Jean Claude they were exploring the idea and I think that they came to me because they thought I would write an action television show because that's what I was known for. for primarily at the time, uh, and I met with them and I just said, look, I don't have any interest in that at all. I want to see Jean-Claude be funny. I think I know that he's capable of it. I had seen JCVD, which is Incredible. an amazing movie. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good movie. And for me, it wasn't weird enough, so I just said, <laughs> I'd like to do some of that kind of thing, but take it uh, in a bit more genre-like direction and then get stranger with it. And, um, Luckily for me, Jean-Claude agreed to do it. That was the big question, was whether Jean-Claude would be willing to do this type of material, but he was game from day one. And, uh, and, and Peter, this is, this is right up your alley as far as uh, what you've been working on since I've ever known you, which is like you're such a fan of big action genre movies, uh, but you're also like, like one of the, like truly one of the funniest guys I've ever known in my entire life. And you know when he, when we used to, Peter and I used to make a little web videos, and he would always be able to with the camera that like made noises when you turned it around. He'd just pick up a little camcorder, and then like we'd be shooting stuff around Hollywood, and be like, "Well, it's gonna look like shit." And then Peter would edit it, and it looked like a fucking movie. And you're just you've always had this talent to just you know uh, make things so grand and big and amazing. And then you took that over to uh, Key and Peel. Uh, for you, do, he directed all all seasons of Ian Bell and then uh, and then Keanu. Uh, and so it's like when I heard about this idea for the show, you becoming you being the director and directing the entire thing, it was there's nothing more perfect than that. Like, how did you uh, find out about it? And when you found out about it, were you just saying this got to be me? I turned it down. <laughs> I I got the script while we were editing Keanu, and I said, Huh, Jean Claude Van Damme, is that? Is that where I'm at now? Oh, and, uh, and uh, they sent it back to me and they said, the creator of the show really would like you to read this and consider it because he thinks you're great for it. And I read it again. Truthfully, I didn't finish it when I turned it down the first time. Jesus, Peter. I know. I know. Guys, it has a little self-destructive behavior. No. Getting so in your I own read mind. it. I read it, and I had, went in with a more open mind, and I, and I fell in love. <laughs> I fell in love. And it was, uh, yeah, ever since I ever since I met Dave, I was like, okay, this guy knows what he's doing. Yeah, I think you have to meet Dave. When you just read a script like this, you have to meet the person behind it to know that they're not an insane, horrible person. <laughs> uh, he is a horrible person, but he's just the right amount of music. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And then it's, uh, I, I, it's as much as it's the show is uh, you know starring Jean-Claude and it's called Jean-Claude Van Johnson, but it, I, it does feel like a true ensemble show. It's like, it's you know, the sum of the parts are greater than it's, uh, and, and Kat, like, it's like, you do such a good job of, like, that's uh, grounding. <laughs> It could easily be just kind of like it's, you know, like a kind of a, like a just another character in the show. Like you bring so much depth to everything. And like, how did you find out about this show? And how did you uh, come to audition? Or uh, I um, it, this audition came up uh, at the end of like a super rough pilot season, yeah. um, and bef right before this audition had come up, I quit acting. Because um, I was so sick of 
dumb things and auditioning for things that I didn't even like that much. And I quit acting every time I don't get a gig. I get it. Yeah. I mean, it's a terrible job. <laughs> um, don't do it. Uh, but anyway, so I was like pretty over it. And, um, you know, like Peter, I like got the audition and I was like, no, 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 I don't want to audition. I don't want to put myself through this. Like, then I read it and I was like, oh, this is really good. And then I was like, okay, one more audition. Like, I'll just do one more. It's fine. I mean, I'm not going to pass on Amazon. Amazon's cool. And so... Yes, they are. They are cool. <laughs> so I, I auditioned. And Dave was at my audition. And, uh, yeah, I remember that audition. I walked out of the room and called Peter frantically because it was a, it's a hard role to cast. Yeah. yeah, we saw a lot of people... And it was a really, it's challenging, I think, to have a character who is angry at first, because that's hard to, you know, a lot of times they want characters to be likable, and so someone who can bring charm to being kind of... It blew me away. It was so vulnerable. It's, it's so vulnerable. You know, it's truly, like, I was, I was blown away. Like, it's, uh, it's it, you know, has it, has it been in you this whole time? Like it's like you know, play, like this like a vulnerable type of uh, character to play, or yeah. all over the place, right? Yeah. I mean, not all over the place, but uh, different characters. Yeah. yeah. You have to go into it on a truthful way. Then it looks uh, it look good. Yeah. No, definitely. It's it is. It's just so it's so heartbreaking, you know, just seeing you even just wandering around, and it's and. Even on top of some of the stuff I've seen in the show, like your physical comedy is incredible. It's like there's just in the in the first episode in the opening where you you miss the bag and fall down, but then there's a in a later episode you just like you try to jump over some like water on the ground and you slip and it's all you know in camera. And it's like it's like a Buster Keaton move. Spoiler. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, he slips. No, uh, but it's uh, it, it's it's you know. Just to see you like be and like I saw it first time in like JCVD the movie, but like to see it like in, in long form, I think is is really incredible. So yeah. 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 exactly what the look was going to be, but the idea was that whatever the costume that he was professionally applied into, then there would just be a shitty version of it that was a real person that he accidentally had dressed as. But we never specified to Jean-Claude how to play Philippe. We, it, it was just, I don't know if we never thought about it, it was just so much was going on because we had to change him in and out of stuff. And so right before we started shooting, uh, I was in his trailer getting ready and running some lines with him, and he said, I have a I have a voice for Philippe. I've got a voice for Philippe. You should believe I have his own voice. And I said, I don't know, let me hear it. And he did the voice. He said, I'm right, Philippe. <laughs> I said, yes, I want you to do the voice, but I don't want you to do it during any of the rehearsals, and I don't want you to tell Peter you're going to do it. <laughs> so I was the only person that knew when the camera started rolling that he was going to do that. Maybe you can explain what it was like after that. And that's why uh, Amazon, we have to do a uh, second season soon. <laughs> yeah, before you lose it. Yeah. Let's take advantage of the flexibility. Yeah. <laughs> He's in season. crazy shape, guys. Yeah, can I just tell, I'm gonna tell, can I just tell a really quick story that was like the coolest moment I had on the pilot? Um, 
So we, I came out of my trailer one day and uh, we were in like a parking lot and, and there was a stunt rehearsal uh, happening or like about to happen. And it was a rehearsal for that scene in the pilot with all of the, the, the guys, the, the guys, the workers who like come at him one at a time. And, you know, I had seen Jean-Claude fighting and, it, you know, obviously I was, I was completely impressed by him. But I walk into this scene and I was like watching it from sort of the, the back, like 10 feet away. And the stunt coordinator was showing Jean-Claude the moves by, by like doing it with each guy. And Jean-Claude, it was so, he like, he watched it one time and then would step in and do the fight perfectly. I mean, even better and then have notes for the stunt coordinator <laughs> and like show the other guy how to do his part better. It was so mind blowing and like I just, it was really, it was really honestly it was really moving to me because he's been doing martial arts since he was 12, nine. So, and it's amazing to see that. That's insane. So it's, uh, it's, like, but you, there's like, you know, you guys have oh, thank you so much. That's why I have a career, because I'm nice. <laughs> I haven't told that on the internet. Uh, the, but, JC, the, well, so you get you get pitched the idea of the show, uh, you know, and it's like, you know, it's kind of like, it's always kind of like your work in JCVD, it's real grounded, it's, you're, you're kind of playing a sad version of yourself, uh, and then you, you go, oh, it's great, this is really cool, it's like a cool version of what I did, and then they say, and then there's a weather control device. What, did, what were your thoughts when you kind of started to see how the escalation of the world was going? When I saw the way, because we didn't shoot everything in order, and I said, this is going to be one of uh, the most uh, craziest show, but it's going to hold together because we have an uh, element in the TV show <clears throat> that it hold together. And he told me, you know, that it's crazy, right? I said, yeah. Do I have to stay there? Serious about my emotions, you know, like when I play the guy, it's a fraud. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy, it's, it's just a picture of the rest. Yeah, but it's so crazy. It's <laughs> just play, play the part, right? So it all came together like that. So, but weather control, back to your question, I knew that it did because what we shot before and after that scope looking. But the movie is big, but also it has. Okay guys, and that's gonna wrap up Beyond Fest for me. Checked out the Arnold screening on Thursday, Jackie Chan on Friday, and now, finally, Jean-Claude Van Damme on Monday. So, luckily I'm good at playing catch. I ended up uh, getting this free t-shirt. They used, uh, you know, the shirt guns to, like, shoot them out at the audience, so luckily I caught this one. Pretty freaking cool. Obviously, Jean-Claude Van Damme or Jean-Claude Van Johnson, whichever you prefer. You know, his new uh, Amazon Prime series that debuted, which was, it was kind of weird. It was surprisingly funny. Like, it was a weird blend of comedy and, you know, old school Van Damme. So you get a little of both worlds. It's self-referential. Uh, he, he plugs his old movies, like, in a way that's just freaking hilarious. It's almost like, like kind of like breaking the fourth wall type of thing. He be like wink, wink at the audience type of thing. But yeah, fun. Uh, definitely a fun screening of uh, you know the first two episodes of Jean Claude Van Johnson, and of course Double Impact. Pretty freaking sweet. Okay, guys, for the big moment, did I get Jean Claude Van Damme's autograph? Yes, I did. <laughs> You know, I did, but unfortunately, you know, he was nice enough to do a small little, uh, he was signing some stuff before the uh, the event, and people were just getting crazy, you know, especially those stupid resellers that just get autographs and sell them, because they can't get a friggin' real job, so yeah, it was like, it looked like a crazy mob out there, and some freaking dickhead's pen kind of marked my poster, so I was kind of pissed off about that, but... I mean, I'll take a Van Damme autograph with, you know, a small line rather than no Van Damme autograph. So, hey, at least I can say I got it, right? And uh, they usually stay for a little while after, you know, when they're 
kind of heading to their car and stuff, they'll sign a few more things. But uh, I was hoping to get my Double Impact uh, poster signed afterwards, after the event. But unfortunately, I think uh, Jean Claude just got turned off by the, you know, the whole mob mentality that people had, you know, at the beginning of the, before the event. So yeah, he just pretty much bailed like after. So unfortunately, I couldn't get my double impact uh, poster signed as well. But you know, it is what it is. At least I can say I got this baby signed. This was the priority because Bloodsport, of course, was the movie that introduced me to Van Damme. And he was nice enough to, to sign at least at the beginning, you know. But, uh, yeah, I don't... Honestly, I can't blame him one bit for wanting to take off after uh, all those people were just, you know. It, it just got too crazy for him. Yeah, but uh, Van Dam, thank you for even taking that time, you know, to come to Beyond Fest. Got my signature. I know I'm freaking happy. So, yeah. Okay, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, so, like I said... Got Van Damme's autograph on my blood sport, but I, I'll be a little honest. Maybe it's just me being a little selfish, but I really, I'm still kind of bummed out. I couldn't get Double Impact signed. Like I said, my top two favorite Van Damme movies. Uh, I mean, I'm happy I got the one, obviously, but I was hoping he'd stick around. Maybe, like I said, I don't blame him, though. So, yeah, it is what it is, and uh, I'm glad he, you know, at least took the time to come out. And, uh, yeah, still pretty bummed out, though. I didn't get it signed, but whatever. I'll get over it. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, obviously. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for the next video.